and welcome back to the third video in our series. Uh, we've renamed our channel, in case you might have noticed, it's called Talking Turkey with Pop, now coming to you with more turkey, more of the time. And if you look carefully in the background, you'll see him working. Um, so we've gone from a tech news format to more of a rant slash monologue format. Yeah, I hope you like it. So in our first two videos, we uh, looked at the Intel Skull Canyon NUC. So we unboxed it, uh, we set it up, and in this video we're going to install Windows and get the whole thing finished off. And in our next video we'll just talk about uh, uh, the performance of the uh, computer and whether or not you might like to buy one of these things. So I'm not going to demonstrate how to install Windows um, or show you the working system. There's not much point. What you do is you stick the USB stick in, turn the computer on, and it installs. So it's going to ask you uh, a couple of silly questions. Firstly, whether or not you want the 32-bit or the 64-bit version of Windows. I don't know why they ship it with 32-bit anymore. Choose 64. Uh, secondly, it will ask you whether or not you want to um, keep your existing settings. Well, you don't have any, so don't say yes to that. Uh, choose the other say option. No. And then I'll ask you for a username and a password later on. Don't bother going to get a cup of coffee. It will install before you blink your eyes. It's so fast. Um, once it's installed, you'll have a working Windows system, but you won't have any connection to the internet. It doesn't install any useful drivers. <laughs> Good afternoon. So after it's installed, uh, you'll have a problem that it won't have any connection to the internet. So it doesn't install any working drivers for wireless or for um, the Ethernet network. So in order to get that working you're going to need another computer that has an internet connection and you're going to have to download um, at least one driver, either wireless or Ethernet network, um, from the Intel website. So go to the Intel website, go to their download section um, filter your downloads for the Intel Skull Candy. Um, I downloaded the wireless driver, put it onto a USB stick and install it on the Skull Canyon. Uh, that worked straight out of the box and from that point on I had internet uh, connection and I was able to go ahead. So of course you um, update all of your windows and you need to go back to the Intel website and download uh, all of the Skull Canyon drivers. So they do have a tool on that website which detects what drivers you need uh, and automatically downloads and installs them, which is okay except that it doesn't work. Um, it will it will download and install okay, but uh, sorry, download okay, but then when it goes to install, it tends to uh, fail. Um, whereas if you run them individually, they won't fail. So um, no points to Intel there that doesn't really work particularly well. So get all your drivers get them downloaded, get them installed. Um, then we have made this, uh, we installed Windows in August of 2016. So we then had to go and get the Windows Anniversary update. So that would probably come down just as a, a normal update, uh, but we went and grabbed it proactively. So that's a big update, about three gigabytes. Takes some time to download and install. And once that's done, your computer uh, will of course then get more updates and then you will have a fully working system. So in our next video we're going to just talk about um, the performance of the machine as I've evaluated it uh, and um, who might be interested in purchasing one of these machines. So come back for our next installment of Talking Turkey with Pop. See you later.